What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my kitchen. When we're trying to lose weight, build a little muscle and stay strict on a diet, there's nothing more imperative to reaching that goal than making sure you have good, healthy, high protein meals ready to go. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the most delicious and simplest way to do that. We're gonna be making a cheesy beef pasta that is not only stupid filling, delicious and healthy, but it's also gonna make enough that you can split it into meals for the entire week or feed an entire family at dinner. If you've been wanting to take the guesswork out of your diet and ensure you're eating good while also eating nutritious and high protein at the exact same time to make sure you watch this video because I'm telling you it just might change your life and for all of my stupid simple diet friendly meal prep friendly recipes don't forget you can grab my cookbook which is available at the first link in the description box every recipe on the channel broken down and easy to use guide to fish right in your pocket that way instead of just winging it on a diet you can actually know with a hundred percent certainty that what you're doing is actually gonna work and with this in your pocket it's like dieting on easy mode hit that link in my description to check it out all right ladies and gentlemen if y'all are ready to get an epic video underway then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! Here we go, folks. I promise you, not all pasta is bad, but we gotta choose the right one. We're gonna start with some veggie pasta. The brand I recommend is Berea Veggie Rotini. You can really use any type of noodle you want. But I think rotini works really well at holding sauce for this recipe. We're gonna get eight grams of protein per serving in this veggie pasta, and I promise you, you won't be able to tell a difference from regular old pasta. So what I'm doing now is bringing about four quarts of water to a boil. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to that. And then once the water's boiling, I'm gonna take one box or 336 grams of our pasta and pour it down inside. So I'm gonna let those noodles cook for about seven to eight minutes, and in the meantime, we're gonna get our seasonings ready. I got a small bowl, we're gonna place it on a food scale, and I'm gonna start with 30 grams of white flour, then we're gonna add two grams of oregano, then we need two grams of onion powder, two grams of garlic powder, about a gram of kosher salt, and then a dash of crushed red peppers. Now that we got the seasonings out of the way, let's get our sauce ready. The first thing we need is 625 grams of a tomato sauce. I'm using Classico tomato and garlic because it's lower in calories and has an amazing flavor, but most of these are gonna be the same calorie-wise, so just choose your preference. I'm gonna go ahead and weigh out that 625 grams in a bowl. Then after that, we need one cup or 240 grams of beef broth. I'm gonna go ahead and wash the scale and weigh this out. And perfect. So after eight minutes, I just strained the noodles off and they are perfectly tender. The best part about these veggie noodles is they taste just like regular pasta, except we're actually getting in our daily greens without even trying. That's a win-win to me. Now, let's wrap this up. And to bring everything together, the final thing we need is two pounds or 996 grams of 96% lean ground beef. We're gonna get all the flavor with none of the calories. So what we need to do is make sure we grab a large skillet because we're gonna be fitting a lot of stuff in here. We're gonna hit it with nonstick and then we're gonna place our beef down inside and cook it till it's brown. And then once we got all of our beef browned, we're gonna take our seasoning, dump it down in. Then we're just gonna go in and stir it into our meat and let this cook for about one minute. And then after a minute, we're gonna take our sauce, pour it down in here as well. And then now we're just gonna go in, stir everything together, make sure all the seasonings get incorporated with our sauce and our beef. And then once we got it stirred up, we're gonna bring it back to a boil like this. And then what I'm gonna do is lower the heat to about a medium. And we wanna let this simmer and thicken up for about 10 to 15 minutes. And while we're waiting on that, I'm gonna grab myself a little high protein snack. The Anabar is hands down the best tasting protein bar on the market. And just like this recipe, if you wanna make eating healthier and getting your protein in delicious, then you're gonna wanna give this a shot. And in the fruity cereal flavor with that coating of white chocolate, you really can't do no wrong. Three, two, one. Mm. For real, all you gotta do is try it and you're gonna be hooked. Head on over to FinalBossFormance.com, use my code RJF10. You're gonna save money and you're gonna be getting the best tasting protein bar on the market. All right, ladies and gents, I'm gonna enjoy this and let's get back to this pasta. Check it out, guys. After 15 minutes, this sauce went from watery and runny to thick and chunky. What I'm gonna do now is put this down in a large mixing bowl. And then once we got that, we're gonna add in our pasta. And then we're gonna toss in 112 grams of fat-free cheddar cheese. And then now I'm just gonna go in and stir everything together until it's fully combined. And there we go, folks. This is what the finished product should look like. Loaded down with beef, loaded down with veggie pasta, loaded down with flavor, and most importantly, it's gonna help you stick to your diet all week long. Now, once we got it here, all we gotta do is sort it into containers. So what I 
I have here is five basic meal prep storage containers from HEB that I purchased. Super cheap, but they make dieting super simple. I'm just gonna go ahead and portion this out, eyeballing it into each of these containers. And boom, ladies and gentlemen, it is really that easy. We got five meals packed, ready to go, and I'm telling you, this tastes so good that you can even eat it cold. That's why I love this recipe, because if you're out on the road, you're on the go, you don't have time to stop and get a microwave, you can literally pull this out in your car from your cooler, grab a fork, go to town, and it's still gonna be amazing and help you hit your goals. Each one of these meals will last in the fridge for up to five days, but if you want them to last longer, you can always toss them in the freezer and then move them to the fridge the night before you wanna eat them for them to thaw. Now that we know how to make this, let's go over the nutrition and give it a good old fashioned taste test. All right, ladies and gents, we are rocking and rolling. First, I gotta give a shout out to the fit that I'm wearing by Young LA. I'm rocking the baby blue hybrid tee, perfect fit in the chest and shoulders, loose down bottom. That way, if I got a little gut going on, no one's gonna be none the wiser. And I'm pairing that with the perfect shorts, which I love because they're great for the gym. They also got wallet pockets, zipper pockets, everything you need to wear them out casually. If you're going on a date, going shopping, whatever it is you're trying to do, and you're stylish all at the same time. Head on over to youngla.com, use code RGF. You're gonna save money and you're gonna absolutely love the clothes you got on, quite literally, no lie, no no BS, it's all I wear anymore. And I feel a hundred times better. So anyways, guys, let's get into this pasta. Check it out, you saw me make it, now you're gonna watch me eat it. Let me get a bite of some beef, some noodles, literally everything right here. Three, two, one, let go. Seriously, folks, there is absolutely nothing about this that tastes healthy. It tastes like something you'd order at Olive Garden thinking you're gonna be leaving having derailed your diet for the week, but instead, you're making the better choice, you're getting in a lot of protein, you're keeping those calories down, and you're fueling your body for whatever it is you got going on. And like I said, the best part is, even if you eat this cold, it's still gonna taste good, doesn't even need a microwave. That's how you know it's the real deal. Now, in this entire recipe, if you make it exactly how I did it, what you end up with for the whole recipe is only 2,867 calories, 47 grams of fat, 280 83 grams of protein, 328 grams of carbs with 35 grams of fiber. Now I tell you that in case you wanna divide your meals up a little differently than me, but when I take this and I divide it into five meals, which for me is perfect, each one has 573 calories with only nine grams of fat, 57 grams of protein, 66 grams of carbs with seven grams of fiber. Not only are we getting a whopping 57 grams of protein at each one of these meals, but we're getting a ton of flavor, some fiber, and we're keeping the calories way lower than we would be if we went and ordered a similar dish somewhere else. This is great if you're bulking and you really wanna stack up those calories and making sure you're getting in a lot of protein, or it's great when you're cutting and you wanna have some pasta without completely blowing your diet out of the water. At the end of the day, as long as you eat enough protein and you eat the right amount of calories for your body type and your goals, you're gonna be successful no matter what. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to the final bite. Let's send her home. Mm, great A. 10 out of 10. The best part is I'm not done here. We just made enough so we have it for the entire week or we could eat it breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Seriously, if I ate this exact same meal four times today, I would still be in a calorie deficit. I would wake up tomorrow having dropped a little bit of weight, having hit my protein goal, and having enjoyed my diet. I'm telling you guys, don't overthink it. Follow these recipes from the channel or in my cookbook because it really is that easy. And speaking of the cookbook, you already know if you have it, then it has been updated and this recipe is now included in there. Every time a new recipe is added to the channel, it gets added to the cookbook for free. So once you get it, all the future updates and recipes just keep getting added, so it's the gift that keeps on giving. Hit that link in my description if you want the ultimate diet guide right in your pocket. All right, folks, appreciate you guys. As always, the support lately has been unreal. If you like this style of video where we do meal preps for the week, let me know, and I'll get cranking on more of them. Hit that thumbs up button for me. Comment anything down below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Wham, bam, bam, baby. We gone.